Hello all, welcome back to Shameo Pegleg. Appreciate y'all being here. Time for a face shave. It, of course, my nose wants to itch as soon as I start talking. Alright. That's eh, normal, right? Okay, today's razor. Something I haven't used in probably over a year. A Core 34C. Which we all know is a two-piece. This unscrews from the bottom. The top comes off. Well, there we go. See? And the blade fits right on there. Tighten it up. Today's blade is an L01. Is it going to focus or not? There we go. Swiss quality titanium. Nothing Swiss about it, not even the steel. I can go in my kitchen and make some chocolate from cocoa and call it Swiss quality even though it's not. So they're made in Bangladesh but they are good blades. I do like them. They're sharp enough for me and I like to take titanium coating on it because it works well with my skin. Let me fix that. There we go. Today's soap. I haven't used this in over a year since I won it from the groomsman. Holy cow. King of Oud. This is what happens to your soaps after a, years, a year, guys. See the gap around it? It's drying out. The scent strength is still there, but here it, it's loosened up. It's drying up. That's how you know you've got too many soaps. I've only used this once. This is my second time in a year. That's how you know you've got too many flipping soaps. Soaps, excuse me. Ripped up. Ripped up. Whipped up in my supposedly hand-carved sandstone bowl from India using the Green Bay brush from PAA. I know he calls it the Green Ray, but come on. It's yellow and green. Those are the colors of the Green Bay Packers. You can call it the Fred Flintstone brush for all I care. We know it's the Green Bay brush. Okay. Stop Stop playing freaking games. I got nice floppy peaks. And there's still a clump of soap down at the bottom of that dish that did not mix yet. So if I need to, I can do some more. All right, the top notes on this soap are bergamot, lemon, clary sage, rose, aldehydes, and pink pepper. The middle notes are angelica, rosewood, and galbanum, or banum, galbanum, whatever that is. Uh, base notes, argar wood, or oud, sandalwood, vetiver, patchouli, and amber. It's a good scent. If you like ouds, you probably like this one. And I happen to like ouds. Lather is nice and warm. Because it's on my coffee cup heater. I put the bowl on there for a half hour before I even put soap into it. Then I put the soap in and whip it up and let it sit for maybe a minute or two max. Just to give it some heat. Okay, let's get at this. And yes, this is a bland, brand new blade. I am not talking today. <sighs> Anybody else getting fed up with YouTube? because they've got a new thing now. If you ever look at one thing on your main page feeds, like on your laptop, not so much your phone, even your phone, you just watch something uh, out of the ordinary or whatever. All of a sudden that comes up as suggestions in your feeds. I don't mind getting all the notifications if somebody I subscribe to puts up a video and I get a notification of that. I'm getting tired of all 
suggested videos, suggested for you, suggested for you. You know what? If I wanted to watch it, I would subscribe to it. I would have done it when I watched it the first time. Not bad, not bad. I had to shave that off a couple, well, about a week ago. I had it way uneven. It was like all the way over here. I shaved too much of it off. So I took it all out and I just got to regrow it. I used to have the whole thing covered in, but I didn't like that too much. It's all personal preference. Oh, I have a serious problem, gentlemen. I like pissing people off too much. <laughs> As if you didn't know if you watch my channel. I had somebody call me today. And they call me three, four times a day, especially in the morning. And they like to call and wake me up. They wait for 9.02 a.m., two minutes after 9 when people are supposed to be awake, but since I don't go to bed most days till three or four in the morning, nine o'clock is not a time I'm planning on being up. 11 o'clock, sure, fine, no problem. Call me 11, don't call me at 9.02. Call me at 9.02 and wake me up. I knew I got that. I got that little bump right there. I have no idea what it is. And I keep catching it. So anyways, he calls me. Tells me, and I've mentioned this before, these guys do this calls me and says his name is David and he's got a heavy Indian or Pakistani accent it's like I said your name's what he goes David I said no it's not what's your real name my name is David I said okay you call from Pakistan or India well that doesn't matter I said where are you calling from Pakistan or India because I said I told him I said you sound India Indian to me and he goes I'm from Pakistan I said, okay. I said, but you know what? No difference. Yes, there is a difference. No. They're not supposed to argue with you. This is how you know you got under somebody's skin is when they stay on the phone to argue with you. Because they're supposed to just hang up and go to the next call. He says, there is, I said, the only difference between Indians and Pakistanis is your religion. India and Pakistan used to be one country. It was divided, I think it was 47 or 52, one of the two, somewhere in that range. You were divided because the Muslim minority always thought they would come out on the losing end of elections and never be represented properly in the government. So Pakistan was created so that you would have the Muslim 
Indians would have their own country and could have their own government and not be a minority. And the Hindu Indians and Buddhists and other religions that were, because India was multi-religious, there were many, many religions in India, I said they stayed in India and continued on. And he's like, yes, you're right. I said, but otherwise, you're the same people. Pakistanis are Indians that fled India to Pakistan because of their religion. You're the same people. There's no difference. It was like 42 million Pa Indians fled to Pakistan to their own Muslim government so they wouldn't be a minority in the Indian government due to religious reasons. And when I said that to him you have a good day, sir. Click. <laughs> Argument one. And there's nothing he could say. I mean, it was beyond anything he called me for. He was calling to see if I had the updated Medicaid um, food card and getting all the benefits I'm supposed to get from Medicaid. Yes, I am. I'm getting full benefits. I've already had my. I've already been checked. I'm getting everything I'm supposed to get. I like arguing with people. I should have been on the debate team in high school. But I really wasn't like this when I was younger. I've only gotten like this since I've been older. like I said before, old people aren't grumpy. Hello, I'm not grumpy. We're just tired of holding our tongue so we don't hurt people's feelings. We're, they, we're at the age where we don't give a crap anymore. Your feelings can be hurt. We really don't care. I couldn't get one freaking shave in without blood, could I? That's all right. I bleed so you guys don't have to. I pay the shaving gods for you. I do the blood donation so you don't have to. Because it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. Even the bad ones don't bother me. The soap is really slick. Holy cow, chisel face, and there's a few other ones that are good soaps that do not get the play on YouTube like they should. Everybody's always going with the hot new water artisan with their shave soaps. I mean, if you look, whatever soap just came out, we've gone over this. It's the best soap ever. You need it in your den till next week when the next soap comes out and I hold it up and say, it's the best soap ever. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a, well, fortunately, this is a very, very good soap. It's a little loose. It's been drying out for a year, but it still lathers like a beast. It's still super slick. Still has great scent. Everything you want in a soap. Holy cow. Doesn't get the airplay it should, but it's a good soap. So there. Lather catch your ears. Yeah, I like that pretty good. I'll put some. I'll put some styptic on that because I knew I was going to do that. Let's hit it with the alum first. See what it calms it down. 
And I just did my washcloth today to get all the blood stains out of them. Figures, right? I should just get red ones. What do you think? Gentlemen, John, broken nail and block. Okay, on the face, there's just nothing. Cold and wet. Seriously, cold and wet. On the neck, a little tingling till I got to this spot, and that's only about a three. Over here, some tingling. Just that one spot, give me about a three. That's about it. I'm getting grouchy in my old age. That's what you want to call it. Fine, you call it that. This stuff is great. It's the Parazzo Styptic Gel. Oh. I got a bump right here, guys. I don't know what it is. It never goes away. It's not a zit. It's not an ingrown hair. It's just a flipping bump. Could be a cyst. Witch Hazel. From Walgreens. Of course, we have La Splash. Holy cow. King of Oud. About four drops, five drops, I do you? Fantastic scent. Really is. I'm going to use the Nivea Max Hydration. I only need that much and I'm just gonna a couple more drops of this on this rub them together oh yeah fantastic am I BBS no am I deep DFS yes almost said something else yes this won't well, this razor is not aggressive enough to get me BBS because I my rough spots through here I really need a more aggressive razor to dig into my skin and make me bleed more to get BBS but it got me it's real good there's only a little bit nothing anybody would really complain about most of you guys would feel this and go that's BBS because there's so few there but it's not BBS but anyways all right guys that's a Saturday shave. A little bit of blood, not bad. Uh, one of these days I'll ask my doctor what the hell that's about. Um, trying to get in to go see a gastrologist because um, they want me to. But the place my doctor wants me to go to, I've tried calling them three times. The first time I called them, I got through all the prompts. You know, to press this if you're this, press that. Uh, got through all the prompts. Six minutes before a person picked up the phone. And then she said, okay, let me get my calendar to put me in. 15 minutes I waited for her to come back with her calendar. Did she have to print it? Write it up by hand? I don't know what. But I hung up. I was like, no. And the last two times I tried calling, I've gotten absolutely 15 minutes of waiting on hold after getting through the prompts and nobody answers the phone. So I'm probably going to just end up calling on Monday the one that the hospital recommended me to call instead of the one my doctor wants me to go to since apparently they're so busy they don't need business. So, okay, that's the way that's going to go. All right, guys, almost 20 minutes. That's a good quick shave for me. Not much to talk about right now. Just a simple do shit that goes on in everyday life, right? All right, guys, I do have a link to the razor company. If you want to buy from the razor company, you're thinking about buying from razor company, please think about using that link. Yes, I get a kickback when that account hits $25. I get a $25 gift card to the razor company to give back to you guys. And you get the money back, or at least attempt 
or have a chance to get some of your money back at least. Okay, uh, please give a like and a sub to the four channels I'll put in the description box. All those guys are under a thousand subs, and I'm sure they appreciate their numbers going up. And with that, I will say thank you very much for being here on a Saturday night or Sunday morning, whenever you watch this. I hope you have a good weekend. And with much love, I say enough of the babbling fat guy in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.